Look at this, I'm back at Plane Spotter's Paradise and let's do some plane spotting first. Back at the airport this morning, we're going to take a flight to some of the world's shortest runway and most dangerous airfield in the Caribbean. This handsome young man is flying me, John Mark. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Uh, my name is John Mark, and today I'm going to be taking you guys over to Seba. It'll be about 14 minutes, and we'll be going at about 2,500 feet. Seba 111 Papa, runway 103, take off, and it's 03010. The wind's clear for takeoff, runway 103, minus 111 Papa. Ready? Yep, yeah, ready. Let's go. Mate 111, Papa, Ebo on time, 2 semi report level climbing to. Copy, Ebo on time, climbing up to 2500, Samate 111, Papa. Samate 111, Papa, report 10 DME. Save information, good morning, St. Martin 111, Papa. St. Martin 111, Papa, good morning, Save Info. Ten man out of Julian in the Papa Juliet Sierra X-ray mic. Currently maintaining 2,500 feet, approximately uh, 13 and a half miles out. Should be landing in roughly the next six minutes. So Sam, uh, Seba is actually the shortest commercial runway in the world, and it's definitely one of the most challenging runways um, that exists for pilots to go into. And in fact, it takes a good amount of experience and training before you're even eligible to be able to land here. And um, for today, what you can expect too is uh, we're getting easterly winds, so of course on final we're going to be grabbing into the left a little bit. And typically with easterly winds, you get a sudden drop as soon as you get over the runway, so you'll feel like we're going to go right onto the runway and probably put it down pretty firmly. It looks challenging. It looks definitely challenging here. Yeah, it looks like, uh, you ever seen Jurassic Park? Exactly, <laughs> right? I couldn't see the runway at all. It's right here to the left below us. See it? You see oh, it yeah! Out there? On a flat piece. Yep. At the very bottom of the left. So we're going to start slowing down and descending now. This is exciting. Do you see this little rock here in between us and the runway? This little rock here in the middle? Yeah, yeah. correct. That's um, your, uh, left. That's kind of a point that I'm going to use when I get over there. I'm going to try and be between 700 to 500 feet as guy, kind of like a guide, a reference. It's so rocked that there's, this doesn't look like there's any flat piece of land. No, it's practice. I think we picked the only flat piece of land for the airport. <laughs> uh, Turn a final run in one, two, St. Martin, uh, one, 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 Papa. Roger that, one, 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 Papa. Winds are zero, six, zero degrees, one, two knots. Runway right clear. Got this, one, 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 Papa. It's okay, not doing too bad. Oh, we're so close to the mountain on landing. Oh, my God. Oh. There's a sudden drop. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thanks for preparing me. <laughs> no problem. Oh, it's so short, this runway. Look yeah. at it, we're almost hit the end. I'll take you right to the edge so you can see it. Uh, okay. Shimon, 
Roger, one one one, Papa, on time three. Oh my God, you gonna drop? Copy, somebody one one one, Papa. <laughs> cliff. Cliff Holy on this end and a cliff on the other. Wow, that's uh, so exciting. It's thrilling. It's so fast. All happened in like a yeah. second. all happened really fast before I react we already landed it all happened in split seconds the thrill was unspeakable it was whoops a drop and then landed firmly I'm glad you enjoyed it so now I'm getting out of the airfield and go up to the hill to watch John Mark doing one more circuits over the island to see externally what it looks like how long are you gonna be on the island how long yeah. half an hour too short, too short. <laughs> yeah, this is first time, but hopefully not the last time here. He's always welcome to come back. St. Bart is over yeah, there. Right, St. Martin's down there. Oh. And over here we have Stacia, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. How many people live on Saba? 2,000. little hill look over the whole 400 meter runway here the plane just took off and John Mark's gonna do a close traffic and come back to land so we can appreciate how difficult and how short the runway is Good morning. Good very, very busy airport here. <laughs> How many landings here every day? Um, um, average we have about six to seven. Six to seven landings? Yeah. And what's the days. most exciting thing you've seen during your work here? <laughs> <laughs> um, like he mentioned before, the, the dip below the runway when the winds are calm and then, and then you don't see the aircraft and you see it's just pulling back up, you know? Are you serious? Very, the very plane exciting. went below the runway? Yeah, yeah. Then they came back up. Well, and this kid here, what's your name? Mario. Mario, he's actually the airport marshaller. He works here. Yeah, work here yeah. yeah, he came to me. He knows my YouTube video channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna yeah, make yeah, one yeah, here yeah. and you're gonna see yourself on the video. All right, cool, man. nice to meet you, man. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. You're back on. Oh, back on. Okay, our engine has started. Yep. And our next stop, tell us. We're going over to St. Bart's now, one of the other most challenging airports that there are in the world. That's a crazy one. That's going to get steep descent down like this. It is. Yeah, I'm excited to show you. Yeah, we barely survived the first one. <laughs> Wind check, please. I'm going to go real close to the edge, so this will be a cool shot, too. Wind 06010. Zero, zero, zero. Copy, somewhere in the 1115. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. This is how close you go. The <laughs> full takeoff. I can feel like I, you know, VFR without yeah. much wind. <laughs> yeah. St. Bart's right there ahead. Airport's in the valley in the middle, right? Yep. So St. Bart's is um, a lot easier to land in because the runway over there is 2,100 feet. So I have a lot more time to, you know, get the plane down smoothly and stop. 
You can already see the gusty, the winds hitting the water, you see it? Yep. If you look on the water, I'll tell you from now, we can expect a lot of turbulence, especially when we get closer to the saddle. Once we go over, we're probably, we're gonna make the steep descent, chop the power, touch down, and uh, if we're not feeling comfortable, obviously, you know, we execute a go around, and then we'll try to wait. Okay, yeah? <laughs> That's the wind. That's the winds. Oh my god. I'm not even filming anymore. <laughs> it's just gonna want to watch. Right here, this is the saddle. This is where it'll get. Oh, Typically. St. Bart's. Amazing, amazing, speechless. Cool guys, welcome to St. Bart's. As you saw just now, the landing, it was a little bumpy, but nothing too crazy. And that's pretty much because right here in this, where we call the saddle, which is right between these two hills, the air gets extremely turbulent. And you can tell by those two wind socks there what's gonna happen just by looking at them if they're flipping or whatever. Sometimes you might even see that one wind sock is facing a completely different direction than the other. It just gets really crazy in there. It's a crazy runway, the hill, and the incline, or I should say the decline, decline here, and then decline all the way to the beach yeah. on the other side. So I've got a very nice person ramper here. He's gonna take us up the hill to see the landings. And Joe and Mark, he uh, saw how if, he saw how excited, and nervous I was, and now he's gonna perform a solo flight, at one more circuit, so I can film him coming in. of the hill it's crazy windy here that's why we, our plane flipped a little bit when we are approaching so my friend John Mark just took off the winds going crazy right now Tiny dot in the sky. I think that's Joe and Mark coming. Of the airport. I just love it. I can stand here for hours, but I'm gonna catch my fleet back to St. Martin now. And St. Martin's hello again, St. Martin 111 Papa taxi back over to Juliana with three souls on board in two hours, two zero minutes of endurance. St. Martin 111 uh, Papa, St. Martin hello again, 10 zero news, wind 040 at 21, QNH 1020. Advise ready for departure. You're gonna make plenty of views on YouTube? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> hope so, we hope so. <laughs> I think the tower guy must recognize us. Yeah, definitely yeah. recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. You've 
visited two of the most challenging airports in the world, both in the same day. I know, right? I still have the adrenaline. Going yeah. through your body. <laughs> <laughs> it was sick in my stomach when the first... Yeah? Uh, it's in Bart's? Yeah. It's in Bart's when you first landed. Julian, the tower, good morning, Sam Martin, 111 Papa. Sam Martin, 111 Papa. Proceed direct to the threshold, running 10, okay. clear to land, wind 02013 knots. Capital winds clear to land, running 10, Sam Martin, 111 Papa. Wind 02013. God, this is super exciting. <laughs> super nice. Bringing it nice and low over the beach. I'm back in one piece, still have that <laughs> adrenaline. If you want to fly Sabre, St. Bars, having all this, this guy's the best guy to fly you. John Mark at SXM Airways. Appreciate it.